All right, guys, how's it going? Well, I can't say it's turned out nice again because, to be honest with you, it hasn't. It's a little bit grey. It looks like Yorkshire outside. It does. Um, but it's all right. It's not too bad. How are you doing? Are you all right? Oh, it's been a little bit quiet, hasn't it? Not really anything to talk about at the moment. Um, the Luis Diaz situation is not something I particularly want to talk about. It's exceptionally depressing. And... Um, you know, I just can't, like, for one second think where his head is mentally and how you continue with your life in that situation, never mind with a football career. So, truly awful. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to go into it because, like I say, um, you know, I think it'll, it'll just, I don't know, it's just not very nice to talk about. Um, what we are going to talk about is Mo Salah. And uh, also... You, I don't know if you can hear those little footsteps, but a certain Remy, the rescue dog, has just decided to get off his sofa and come over to me. Uh, I'm talking to people. Okay, please go away. Uh, we're going to talk about Mo Salah. Oh, hang on a minute. What's Fabrizio Romano calling? Mo Salah. Yeah, we're going to talk about Mo Salah. Uh, I saw some conversation uh, across Cop Talk from people saying, oh, Liverpool, they're not going to sell Mo Salah now. And people say, how do you know that? Oh, I've heard this, I've heard that. Basically, it stems from an article uh, on Football Insider 24-7. Dreadful website, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, and I think it, it shows that there's absolutely nothing to talk about right now that we're even going there in this video. Uh, however, people are wondering where these claims have come from, and this is where it originates from. So the headline, which was posted yesterday, I believe, was sources, Liverpool to reject massive, oh, massive, Mohamed Salah offer after sources, huge Saudi update. I mean, come on, guys, how pathetic is that? Sources, you know, like at the beginning, sources, call on or whatever. Liverpool to reject massive Mohamed Salah offer after sources, huge Saudi update. Dreadful, absolutely dreadful. Liverpool will not sell star man Mohamed Salah in January. Whatever offers comes for him from the Saudi Pro League. Sources of Troll Football Insider. It is believed the Reds owners will place a not for sale sign at Anfield when Saudi clubs come calling for the Egyptian 31 year old. A well placed source has told Football Insider that there is huge interest in Salah from the country's mega-rich teams who are keen to make him one of the jewels in their crown in 2024. Saudi Pro League clubs have already brought the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Karim Benzema and Neymar to the Middle East. However, it is believed Liverpool have no intention of accepting a winter offer for Salah, even if he pushes for a move. Sources to a football insider last month on the 7th of September that Al Itihad were considering making a bid of around £225 million in the final days of Saudi Arabia's summer transfer window after an initial bid worth up to £150 million was rejected. Now you just saw me squint in a little bit there, that's because some great big adverts appeared over it all. Um, but Salah remained at Anfield and has been outstanding for Liverpool in the opening stages of the 23-24 campaign. The club legend, who is under contract until June 2025, has notched 10 goals and 4 assists in 13 appearances across all competitions this season and maintained his excellent form in Sunday's 3-0 Premier League win over Nottingham Forest. He earns a reported wage of £350,000 a week on Merseyside, making him Liverpool's best played player. And rightly so. The Egypt international, who will miss several games in the new year as he travels to the African Cup of Nations, is out of contract at Anfield until June 2025. That doesn't even make sense. It should say he's under contract at Anfield until June 2025. Stupid people. Jurgen Klopp's side sit fourth in the Premier League and an next in action against Bournemouth in the League Cup on Wednesday. Uh, anyway, so... A few things from this. Um, what do we think about Mo Salah and Saudi Arabia? I think 
that Mo Salah will go to Saudi Arabia. And I think that's what his agent, Remy Abbas, Rami Abbas, Rummy Abbas, uh, will be uh, working on in the background. Um, Mo Salah's been fantastic. As Brendan Rodgers would say, hasn't he? Um, I was thinking the other day, actually, just one of them minutes, you know, when you're like sometimes watching a game or, you know, watching a particular player or whatever. And I just sat there and I was like, he really is something special, that kid, you know what I mean? He really is. Cool as a cucumber. And uh, I like him a lot. And I'd be sad to think of life without Mo Salah uh, at Liverpool. The other thing I wanted to say really is... Um, we're just doing our our business, Liverpool, aren't we, at the moment? You know, like with the results and that. The way we're playing at the moment, we're just like quietly getting on with it while the focus is maybe on other teams, uh, which I like. And, you know, I don't like to tempt fate and, uh, and whatnot, but, you know, there's a part of me that really thinks this Liverpool side is going to win something this season. Do you feel the same? And you know what? I, I don't usually think that each year. Each year, or each season, should I say, I usually just, just plod along with it. Like, you know, what will be, will be. You know, and if someone asks me that, you know, do you think we'll win anything? I go, eh, I don't know, we'll see. Won't we? But it just, I don't know. I think it's just the way that we just seem to be getting on with it. We're just, we're going out there and we're doing the business. And, you know, we're just doing it quietly. It's like, even the fans, I think, are like not overhyped. They're just like, yeah, that's what we expect from Liverpool Football Club at the moment. And um, I'm pleasantly surprised, really, guys, to be honest with you. You know, the summer was, uh, it was a strange transfer window, wasn't it? Uh, we do have, um, you know, November coming up uh, tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, I'm intelligent. Yeah, no. uh, we do have November coming up. And I suspect that around the second or third week of, what are you doing? The second or third week of November, we'll start to see more credible transfer news ahead of the January transfer window. That's when it traditionally happens, usually around week three. So, you know, keep keep your eyes and ears open for that as, as the window approaches. Um, but, you know, I know we get transfer news every day and rumours every day, especially on this nonsense here, social media. Um, but do you mind? He's, he's going to knock the tripod over. I'll knock your face out. Go away. Do you know what? Before I do the video, right, he just lays on the set with his, with his legs up in the air. And as soon as I start talking, I don't know what's going on. Um, I can't remember what I was saying now. Oh yeah, this nonsense. You know, we see we see rumours and claims and that all the time. I get it, but the credible stuff I think you'll start to see around the third week of November because traditionally they have a transfer summit in November. You know, and uh, I I also we you know we've got this trip coming up uh, to do with Andre as well. Go away. Um, I don't know if I've, I think there's a video on here about that. I don't know, but um, if you go to coptalk.com, uh, let me have a look. I can't even remember. Uh, no, it must have been on the podcast. And, and Andre Talks definitely on. So that was on the podcast on, let's have a look at the date, the 25th of October. Uh, so yeah, the Liverpool talks are definitely on uh, with that, um, but it's been quiet since then, since that date in terms of credibility. I think so. We'll have to wait and see, guys. He's, he's I love this dog. He's pretty cool, man. To be honest with you, he's no he's no Rodders, but he's uh, he's all right. So um, other than that, that's it. There's nothing really to talk about. I don't think, guys. I won't patronise you and. Just churn out videos for the sake of doing so. Uh, listen, uh, you know, you know, I am on Twitter at Dunk Knows Best, D U N K Knows Best. Um, I do, I do have an account there. I've had for a while. I lost my my original account at Duncan Oldham, which I had right from the start. Uh, as some of you know, uh, I got banned from Twitter for defending a mum. She couldn't get. A, it was a mum, and she had a sick child in the car with her a young child, and it was one of them just stop oil protests. Get fucking down, smash your face in your kid. RSVC out watching other we'll start dickhead. Um just stop oil protests, we're blocking a road, you know, and she said, Can you let me through? My, my child's ill, I need to get him to hospital, you know what I mean? And they were like, No. And I retweeted it just saying I'd have got her through, regardless of the consequences, and I lost my entire account and everything. So if you are on Twitter, at Dunk Knows Best is my username on there. So if you used to follow me at Duncan Oldham, please do come along and see me. 
I don't use it much at the moment, but it'd be still nice to see some familiar names on there. Saturday night, are we doing Saturday night steaming, streaming? Um, we didn't do one last Saturday uh, because I knew there was rugby on and I knew there was boxing on and I had friends visiting here. Uh, so we had a few sherbets in town, which was nice, nice change to be honest with you. Uh, but I do miss my Saturday nights for you guys. Um, but it's been exceptionally quiet recently, not just on coptalk.tv. You know, other people are telling me, you know, that I've got Liverpool channels like Adam Naylor, for example, that they're, you know, there's no one fucking interested at the moment, you know. And uh, uh, no, it's not good, you know. Winter's bad revenue-wise, always is. Uh, my revenue for this month's, it's going to be on for next month, when I get paid next month, it's going to be terrible. So uh, I do appreciate those of you that are channel members, channel supporters, you know, cop top VIP members, because without you guys, I, I wouldn't be able to exist, you know. And uh, you're very loyal to me, you know, especially through the winter months when there's not as much excitement. You know, in the summer, they all want to fucking talk to you. They all want to watch your videos. They all want to, do you know what I mean? And then the transfer window closes and they're all like, right, see you in January. Well, fuck them guys. I know who supports me, and I do appreciate it. Remy's now chewing my uh, my foot. Do you mind? So, Saturday night. Are we going to have an ease up on Saturday night? Um, I think it'd be pretty cool if we did. Let me know. Um, right, that's it. <clears throat> um, sorry I haven't got anything really exciting to talk to you about. But that's where the Mo Salah uh, stuff's come from. So, if you've seen rumours, you know, recently people... Because people will read that. And then they will redistribute that, you know, as if like they know, like, oh, I've been speaking to someone at, at the club, uh, as Rafa would say, hey, for sure. And, uh, you know, they'll say, oh, yeah, I've been told it's not, they're never going to sell him. They're not going to, uh, I just because it's gone quiet, guys, don't just think that there's, uh, that, that one's gone, gone away. Do you know what I mean? So, right, I need to, uh, I need to pop out. Uh, I'm checking to see what time it is, but it says low battery, so I have no idea. Um, please do, you know, if you watch the video, please thumbs up. Please leave a comment because I'm exceptionally bored at the minute without you guys uh, interacting with me. Um, and I don't like it. It's a bit depressing. I've got to be honest, it's a bit depressing. So the comments are the most important things because I know that you're still watching and you're still there, you know. Uh, and if you want to buy me a coffee, just hit that super thanks button. Greatly appreciated. So there we go. All right. Now that I'm going to finish the video, Remy will stop barking, chewing, jumping, and being an ass, won't you? Because as soon as I hit stop on there, you'll just go quiet. You'll go back to that city over there, won't you? I know you will. Do you know what? Since I got back from America, I don't think I've done a single video making a cup of tea in the kitchen or a, or a, or a coffee. See the tripod move then, didn't you? All right, guys. Uh, yeah, please leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Is there anything you want to talk about? Is there anything we should talk about other than Mo Salah and Saudi Arabia? And let's not talk about uh, anything depressing, though. Do you know what I mean? No. All right, guys. Uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching.